Hey guys, I'm gonna take you along on one of my last calls for today. Nothing was working. I thought it was one thing and I quickly found out I was wrong. Here we go. Hey, I'm coming to check on the air conditioning. I'm coming to check on the air conditioning. All right, sir. I'm so Hi. glad. Oh, you my man from Foster. Come on in. You used to help me over there at Foster. Park. Yes, ma'am. Thank you so much. All right, what's it been doing? Well, it's just been running hot. When they put that little thing there in yesterday, they cut it off, I think. All right, let me see. I was hoping you was the one that was going to come today. <laughs> well, you got lucky. Yeah. You've always been so nice and kind. Thank you. All right, that comes on. You I know, think they keep that lock. I don't know. I might have a key. I've got some of them. No, ma'am, I, I haven't been to Forrester in a while. Oh, okay. Last one. No, nope, looks like I got one more. No, nope, I don't have a key for you. I'll, I'll call and get one. I'm going to check it outside real quick, okay? okay. Curving. All right, condenser's not coming on. I'm gonna go get my tools, but I highly suspect we got a clogged drain. I gotta get in that closet. All right. Let's see if it's getting a call. All right, this is my yellow gear. This little blue and pink wire goes through a pressure switch and comes out right here. So I'm testing at the thermostat wire. Here's ground common. It says I have a call, 27 volts. So I'm gonna test on the other side of the pressure switch. I got a call getting to the board. But if the float switch breaks red, I won't have red right here. I won't have 24 volts on red. So go to common right here, up here on the board. I do have 24 volts. Okay, we have one more pressure switch. It is this one. So I gotta make sure I'm getting 24 volts across it. Or if it shows 24 volts across it, that pressure switch is open. All right, that pressure switch is open. That's the one with the yellow wire. All right, that kind of looks like a low pressure switch. I'm looking for something to get the hose valve cores off. I mean, not the valve cores, but the Locking valve caps. 
Here we go. I didn't hear anything. Hmm. Zero PSI. That ain't good. I'm checking for voltage to see if something happened to trip the breaker and I have 245 volts. It runs. Mm. Let's go ahead and kill power. Mm. All right, I don't know where to begin my leak search. So, um, I got to pressurize, and because it's completely flat, we may be able to, um, hear it. Normally, when that's the case, it's outside, but I don't know that. You know, if there's any, any pressure on my suction hose. That puts a little bit of refrigerant in it. All right, turn this on. Off, open, open. Turn it on. See, I ain't got hardly nothing in there. 32 PSI. Now this one will take some pressure a lot faster. Alright, get a little bit of pressure in it. And um start listening.
there. Y'all seeing that? Um, I'm up to 129. And it's dropping very slowly. I don't see how this thing could be out overnight dropping that slowly. Alright. I'm going to go inside, pump this up and then we're going to go inside and start listening. I hate taking these off. Think it's got enough screws in it? It's in here. Uh, be quiet, you can hear it. That requires my, I'm gonna get my bubbles and my ultrasonic leak detector. feel the air I can feel it blowing on me Seems like I feel it somewhere else. There we go. That little capillary tube on that on that TXB. I'll try to put you all right on it.
Okay, attempting a repair on the valve like that. I think I could probably do it, but it's risky. I mean, I gotta heat up that valve enough to be able to solder on the valve, and it is, I mean, it is right there. But because it's a capillary tube, maybe, hmm, it's either that or replace the TXV, and I've got, I'm gonna have to replace the dryer anyway. What would y'all do? I gotta decide. All right, guys, because that TXV is under warranty and I'm gonna have to replace the dryer anyway, I decided to go ahead and order a new TXV for it. And hopefully we can get this repair done next week. I know July 4th weekend, so I don't even know if I called Johnstone in Columbus. I'm not sure if they're going to be open on Thursday. I know they're not going to be open on Friday. So yeah, I hope it comes quickly and we can get this done. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, how about like and subscribe? And I'll catch you on the next one.